Fear, the anxiety, the stress at times during this pandemic, it has really been overwhelming to the point really it is taking a toll on our mental health. Well, that has led to certainly unhealthy coping habits and we are paying a price for it. But as a psychotherapist and the CEO of Crossroads explains, there are better ways and also better days ahead. I really think this is kind of the issue of our time, uh, aside from the obvious acute issue of you know, whether or not you have coronavirus and you can't pay your mortgage, sort of the, the next line of that is, um, is the, the mental health and mental awareness right now. No, ag agreed. When they, they closed the gyms, they closed the, the churches and synagogues, a lot of the healthy coping mechanisms that Las Vegans used, uh, you know, to stay healthy were taken away from us. And unfortunately, unhealthy coping mechanisms ended up filling in. Dave Marlin is calling it the epidemic within the pandemic. Have you ever seen a time like this where just sort of collectively so many people are, are dealing with mental health issues, whether it's anxiety or, or serious depression or substance abuse? Uh, no, I, I never seen anything like this. Um, I, I do know in, in 2020, we had more overdoses in our country in the history of the country. Marlin is the CEO of Crossroads, the largest addiction and rehab center in Nevada. He urges people to practice mindfulness, focusing on the here and now, not the past or the future, to help ease anxiety and stress, and also concentrate on your breathing to lower the intensity. You know, something I do as an older guy, I just doing some stretching in the morning, and instead of worrying about my mortgage payment while I'm stretching, I just say, you know what, I'm going to be right here right now. And I'm just going to kind of feel my back while I'm struggling to touch my toes. Um, and, and I'm enjoying the, the experience of being right now. For people who hear that and say, well, it makes sense. But, you know, how do I do that when I can't stop these thoughts that are racing, whether because I'm concerned about my mortgage, my rent or, or the health of a loved one? Well, there's a technique that I use in meditation, which is sometimes those thoughts do come in. And it's okay to acknowledge and say, oh, wow, I'm thinking about this person. Well, right now I wanted to focus on stretching. So I recognize that thought came in. I'm going to acknowledge it. Now I'm going to let it go. And I'm going to go back to doing this stretch. Marlon indicates those meditation apps we so often see advertised can also help. I'm going to tell you personally, um, I am a fan of using some of those some of those guided meditation apps, and I've used them on my phone as well as my laptop. Above all, Marlon recommends finding someone to talk to. Most people aren't wondering if they're an alcoholic. If you're wondering if you're an alcoholic or you're wondering if you have mental health symptoms, call and get an assessment. Use your insurance access and, and talk to a mental health professional and just say, I, I want to do a, a one hour bio psych and social. I don't want to do a one hour assessment to, to rule out a mental health disorder or rule out substance abuse. How do you have that initial conversation when there is so much uh, fear, sort of anxiety and, and shame that is still wrapped around this idea of, of, of mental awareness and mental health in the sense of being, you know, a, a weak person? Yeah, and, and it's not weak at all. If, uh, if I got cancer, you wouldn't think of me as weak. If I develop some heart disease or hypertension, you wouldn't think of me as weak. Yeah, certainly so true, right? It's a fascinating and also important conversation. And so there is so much more to it, including a warning right now for people uh, using common prescription drugs to ease their anxiety. And so that is why we posted the entire interview. It's on our website at KTNV.com.